I just feel like when you have more than two children, you should grow an extra arm with each baby. Like, is that too much to ask? Then I can carry all three of them at the same time. I can sleep with all three of them at the same time. I can hold all three of their hands at the same time. Like, why don't I get an extra arm? Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, we talk about motherhood, we talk about pregnancy, we do things kind of eco-friendly, kind of natural, kind of hippie granola. If you're into that kind of stuff, please subscribe, please like the video. If you're not new here, Thanks for coming back. So, so glad to have you. Please like the video. I have an Instagram, Hey Shayla. Just relaunched my podcast, Hey Shayla, which is just my passion project. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about the differences in my three pregnancies. So we've got a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and I am now pregnant with our third. And I'm due at the end of the summer. And it has been different. Some of these things that I'm gonna say are like wives tales. So if you get a vibe from what I'm saying and you have a guess for if it's a boy or a girl, I want you to say in the comments. So we're just gonna get started. The number one and like most obvious thing to me was that I was exhausted, like more than nauseous. I was so tired. And with my first, I could like nap with her. But this one, I couldn't nap with the baby nap because I had a toddler that was out watching TV while I was in with the baby. We never really baby proofed and like the mental capacity that you have when you're exhausted in your first trimester is like zero. I'm gonna get into like the differences in my body, the different cravings that I have, uh, how I'm more relaxed, how I'm more anxious, but this video is sponsored by Safety First. I've used Safety First safety plugins. They are known for their baby on board sign, which I obviously got because when you're driving and you're like, um, hello, don't you see the sign? There's a baby on board. I just felt like I could drive cautiously and everybody be like, oh, she's got a baby. I'll go downstairs and actually show you. My cabinets, we live in a very old house. I painted the cabinets when we first moved in. Well, I just realized that they need to be repainted, but these are things you don't realize until you have to film up close and personal with your cabinet. You look, you look beautiful and pregnant. Mm -hmm. What about the... Uh... Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you how, these, how we install these clips. We put it on this bottom drawer. So pretty much right now they are in. So when I do this, Oh, I can't open the drawer, so I need to push down on the little button, and now it opens. So then how we put it together, we just took this, put it on the inside, took this, put it on the drawer, and that's it. Bada bing, bada, bing. bada boom. Bada boom. If your child is a toilet seat opener, they have a lock for the toilet seat. If they love to do the dials on the oven, there's one for that. There's one for door handles, other locks for cabinets, anything safety. If you're a mom, you know when they get hurt, most of the time, most of the time, you're standing right there. <laughs> if you are in need of some baby proofing because it's your first time or because you're tired and you just need a little bit less, this is the go-to. Honestly, it has to be because I have more kids. It has to be. I'm not able to sleep as much. And I remember being pregnant with my first, laying on the couch, taking naps, being like, how do people do that? I just like think it's cute that I was like that and that I was so tired. <laughs> Because now I have babies waking up in the middle of the night that I'm still taking care of. I am not able to nap whenever I please. I just didn't feel this exhaustion. However, I traded it for nausea. So with my two, I was way more nauseous. I was like car sick all day long. That's what it felt like. So, like some people say that they're hungover. I never got that feeling. I got like the feeling of car sick literally all day long. This one I'd kind of get in the morning. I knew not to take my vitamins right away and then I would eat like a piece of toast with peanut butter or something or like a protein shake, I was better. I also have been taking methyl B12, electrolytes and magnesium and those I think have helped me a lot. I'm a little anxious and some days I'm the most excited because I this is what we wanted. Like ultimately we wanted three. But sometimes I'm like, what did we do? I'm just so nervous for what's coming, but I also know that I wouldn't want anything different if that's not motherhood in a nutshell. As far as eating goes, with my first two, sugar. I like sugar, but I'm more of like a savory person. But with my first, I was like, Seth, I need ice cream, I need a shake, I need chocolate, I need the sweets and I just ate all the sweets. I'm also somebody that like, if there's snacks in front of me, I'll just eat them. Like I'm just a social, eater, it's a really fun trait. This pregnancy, if there are sweets in front of me, I might grab them, but like I might not even grab them, which is abnormal for non-pregnant Shay. And in fact, my first whole trimester, I had no appetite. Like I just didn't, I wanted to eat a salad, the cherry tomatoes, the cucumber, 
I just wanted something very light and like not offensive. And so then I wasn't really gaining any weight. It was so cute. Every time I'd go to my midwife appointment, I'd be like, I haven't really gained any weight. And they're like, it's fine. You're like eight weeks pregnant. It's fine. And now I'm starting to gain the weight and I'm like, mm, I am gaining any weight. This pregnancy, I am so much more alert. I'm like just so busy with the other two that I like, can feel the baby kicking and I like keep thinking about having three but I don't think about being pregnant. Couldn't tell you if they were the size of an apple or the size of a romaine lettuce or I don't know what it is. My first, I think I had three different apps to like compare what they all had to say. I tried to find apps in like New Zealand or Japan or whatever that would like, cause I wanna know what different people said about where you were in pregnancy, I was like obsessed. Like sometimes I'm like, what way am I? I? Wanted to skip midwife appointments. I was like, do I have to come every month. I'm like, do I feel guilty about this? I'm like, no, I don't feel guilty about this because the anxiety and like the obsessiveness that I had in my first trim or my first pregnancy, I don't feel that way. I'm just like, things are going to be fine. And when th if things aren't fine, then we'll find out then. But like for now, I'm just going ahead, not worried about it. And we're just gonna, it's just so much more relaxed. There's so much less stress. And I have no stuff. Like I have nothing for this baby. Other than, I mean, I still, I, did, I haven't gotten rid of everything. So I still have the stuff. So like if they came tomorrow, assuming they were full term, I just feel like I'd be fine. And if I did, if I needed something, I would just go get it. Yeah, I'm just not worried about it. My house is pretty much a disaster a lot because when I'm get a second, to just sit, I just sit and I don't go to the laundry and I don't go do the dishes and so Seth will be like, wow, it looks crazy in here and I'm like, and then he just picks it up, he's the best. Because I'm normally just like a high energy, never sit down, keep moving kind of person and I'm like, I just need to sit down for a minute and so my house is unraveling a little bit. Can't keep up with keeping food in the house, like I make sure we've got snacks on deck. But I feel like that's part of the reason why I didn't gain weight in the first trimester, much weight is because I just wasn't feeding myself properly. <laughs> so that's not ideal, but there's just so much going on with two other kids. I'm trying to keep them alive and happy and feel loved and I just, I need to also think about this baby and making sure that they're good. Now I feel like I'm starving my baby. I'm not, I'm not, I'm gaining the proper weight. My midwives are not concerned. I eat well. So I actually ordered like a meal service just so that I could properly feed us. Speaking of my body, I started showing much sooner, I feel like. Somebody's like, oh, the bump is lower. And I was like, I don't think so because I've got such a long torso that my bumps have always been really low. But then I look back at some photos, which that's another thing. I do not, I have not taken a progress pic since like week 12 or something. So I looked back what my bump looks like now versus with my second. I don't have one for my second either. Like I just, once I had my first, I was like, all right, cool. Because even my second, I can't tell you, like, a lot of the details of it. I just was so focused on my toddler, I guess. Which I feel like is fine. I've been sick a lot. I've, like, been catching everything, which is also unusual for me. I'm usually the person that can, like, fight up everything. I got COVID, had to go to the hospital, get IVs. We had another IV come to the house. I couldn't keep anything down. I was throwing up. That's like the kind of COVID I had. And then we went to Arizona where it didn't rest. And then we came back and then I got sick again with like this cough and it was awful. And so there's just been a lot of illness and I don't love that. Oh, also muscles walk up. So I have to take electrolytes every single day. Even if I'm like trying to quickly walk to the door, my muscles like lock up or my hands will be like, like they just, but as soon as I take the electrolytes, fixed. So far I'm on par. I gained about 40 to 45 pounds with both of my pregnancies. I also delivered one on the due date, one on the day after the due date. So I'll be curious to see when this one comes. I'm also freezing a lot of the time, like cold, which is like the opposite of pregnancy. And I'm like, is my thyroid okay? Like, why am I cold? This is so weird. I decided to finally buy maternity clothes in my third pregnancy because I refused in my first two. I was like, I'm only going to need these for a couple months, which now that I'm on my third, I'm like, well, actually you needed them for like three years. So should have just bought some and they're so much more comfy like i switched to them at six weeks because any pressure on my belly at six weeks was too much i've already gone for the maternity clothes but with my other two pregnancies i never had this anxious like a lot of people talk about how they're worried that they're not gonna have enough time for their first or their first is gonna feel some type of way i never felt that this time i'm feeling that because my girls are like so attached to me and i love it and they're so they need me so much 
And I'm just like, what am I gonna do when there's another? Like my second just lived in the carrier and so I'm hoping that this one just lives in the carrier and is fine so that I can still like interact. I hope my energy comes back. <laughs> but I'm just like, what is it gonna be like? Am I going to be able to fill everyone's cup? I just feel like when you have more than two children, you should grow an extra arm with each baby. Like, is that too much to ask? Then I can carry all three of them at the same time. I can sleep with all three of them at the same time. I can hold all three of their hands at the same time. Like, why don't I get an extra arm? I was talking to a friend who just had her third, and she's like, well, next time I'll probably just switch hospitals. And I was like, you're, you are gonna do it next time? She's like, yeah, people say you know when you're done, and I just don't feel like I'm done. And I'm like, oh, well, I can confirm that I feel like I'm done. And I and I think there's so many circumstances, like finances are a circumstance, you're, the support that you have, just your mental capacity for more, I don't know. I'm just like feeling like this is the last one, but that doesn't make me sad. Like I'm not like, oh, this is the last time I'm gonna be pregnant. Maybe I'll feel differently when the baby gets here, but I don't like get sad about lasts. I like savor them and get excited about the future. Sleep though uh, is one thing that is making me anxious because I currently co-sleep with the two of them and pretty much my options are sleep training them together or doing like a family bed where we put two beds together, they sleep on one, I sleep on the other with the baby and then if they need me they can come but basically I have to keep this baby safe. It's not safe for us all to be in the same bed so that's kind of where my mind has been going lately is just trying to figure out the sleeping situation once the baby gets here. I can't wait to see the difference in personalities because I thought that was a hoax of like, oh yeah, the kids are gonna have different personalities. I'm like, how? How? But mine are drastically different. One is a performer and one is an observer. That is not a parenting thing and it's so freaking cool. So I hope this is interesting for you just to hear the differences in different pregnancies. And I'll see you guys all next week. Mwah. Bye.